Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. When last we left off, my, uh, son is the second person in line to the Byzantine Empire. The problem is, since this is elective monarchy, that doesn't make a difference, because this guy is pretty much going to get it if I drop dead, which I probably won't before he does. Which makes this pretty interesting. I could try and raise crown authority. Will people agree to this? The answer is probably a resounding no. However, they might. Ah! Prince Stefan is now of legal age. He has become a misguided warrior. It's a bit of a step down from what I was, because I was a tough soldier, but there you go. Let us find someone for him to marry. Someone with power. Princess of the Holy Roman Empire? Princess of the Holy Roman Empire? That would confer alliances with the uh, Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. So, hmm. That is actually not a bad idea. That is really not a bad idea. Let us currently, uh, let us do that. We shall go, yes. We shall wait three years for that to go into, uh, power before uh, we hand him over a territory. The reason being is that we basically need to wait and see because sometimes you'll hand him a, a, the barony and then they will when you actually get to the betrothal part and to marry, they won't like it because he's now a baron. Forgetting the fact that he is the prince of an empire. How is that war still going? 42%. It keeps going. Also, you wish to marry this courtier. Okay. Seems fine. And also I have a fair few allies, including the uh, King of the Aquitaine Revolt. The, uh, well, the ruler of the Aquitaine Revolt. Wow! The Aquitaine Revolt pretty much is the whole of Aquitaine, isn't it? And you have uh, usurped the title. This is not going very well for you. Well, couldn't you have a, uh, a revolt that actually is a proper revolt? Like, claim the kingdom. And then I would have an ally that's actually a kingdom. And that would be nice. So, can I destroy the Byzantine title yet? No. Probably, it's not the primary title. It is my ti primary title. This is already your primary title. I could just destroy it. But, uh, it's not a good idea, really. Destroying it would make things interesting. I would go back to being a king, and everything would probably revert back to how it was. But, at the same time, I enjoy being emperor, even if it's only for a fleeting period. And also, someone has left my council. My marshal. You like me, though. So, you, you can be marshal. Has the uh, lower crown, the low crown authority thing gone through? No, and it really doesn't look like it will either. Look at all those votes that need to go through. They are, it is not going through at all. Not even slightly. And you're just revoking counties all over the place. It looks like uh, Gaston the Wise unfortunately died of depression. So we are now onto a new king who is not at all probably going to be happy with me. He wants independence, and alone he is 21% of the power of this empire. I am hoping that the current heir... Oh wow, I have been pushed back in the succession line. Now they want the King of Jerusalem to be the, uh, the emperor. That is not good. Who's voting for him? I'm voting! Why, why won't other people vote? Come on, guys. The crusade for Jerusalem fails. So that is now done. And now what will probably happen is all of the vassals over here will start fighting amongst themselves. Which is not really that desirable, but I'll take it. That means they're not fighting with me, at the very least. I haven't built anything here for a while. See, I've still got keeps to upgrade. Do you want to become my vassal? Yes. Well, that sorted that. 
You are now my vassal. I don't need to fight wars there anymore. Welcome back. It's like you never declared independence in the first place. Pope Mark II. There you are. Okay, that's fine. You've been released. Personally, I, I think, uh... Whoa! Pope Orderic the Cruel. He does have the cruel trait, it's kind of appropriate. Also, he's an aggressive leader. Well, he has been fighting in the Crusades for a very long time. And that crusade ultimately didn't work. So we're now on to the year 1358, and now I don't have to actually uh, reclaim that territory because you just rejoined. Indeed, there is little point to this rivalry. Yeah, there is little point to me being a rival. I'm an emperor. What does it matter? Look at all those titles I claim. A massive quantity. My wife is pregnant. Another child. No matter, I'll start marrying people off to all over the place eventually when they come of age. You've inherited a duchy. And that is just not going through at all. I tried, though. I did try. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm way out of the line of potential successors. I've just got to consider the fact that I'm probably not going to get voted back in. And, uh, you are plotting on something. Can you please end? You were the guy I freed, weren't you? Who else is plotting? You are also plotting, but I can only imprison you. No one will care. You are now back in prison. Please do not plot after I have freed you. I thought I was being a little generous, but no, you're just scheming. I'm gaining 17 prestige a month. That is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I still can't destroy the title, because it's not the primary title. Even though it says here it is my primary title. Hmm. Maybe it's the only title... Oh no! That's really not good. Where is that? I need to find out where that is. There we go! I think we need to deal with that. There we go. I've had another son! Well, we know what to call a son. Call him Keith. There we go. Or Keaton, apparently. No, 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 fine! That was a typo. He is now Prince Keaton. There you are. I don't know if that's a name. It is now. A typo has created a name. So what is going on in the world in general? Well, that Portuguese revolt is really not going well for the King of Portugal. There is only pockets of resistance now for uh, King Salvador of England. Betrothed can marry. Yes. This will net me a very powerful ally. You accept the proposal. And now, you may have this castle. Now I'm back to having a proper domain size of seven. Marvellous. Also, this is just not going through, and when this is uh, has finished not going through, I will try for medium crown, um, medium centralization. It's actually been pretty peaceful after I gave those massive factions what they wanted and destroyed the entire of Greece for the Byzantine Empire. After I handed out a large proportion of my power, everybody liked me. It's amazing. I'm surprised some of these haven't been reconquered, really. I don't feel very well. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's not good. I don't want to drop dead right now, please. I've only just got everything under control. My son is an even worse steward than I am. I am a really terrible steward. I should probably, actually, to be fair, I should probably move my, um, 
probably actually move my retinue back over to Wales, because that is probably where I'm going to have to move everything in a little bit. It's a good thought, actually. Might as well just move them back, because that is where the, the centre of my power is going to be pretty soon, when I drop dead. Also, you wish my help against the King of Poland. Yeah, go for it. I'll say yes. I don't actually need to help you at all. Look at that. It's a moot point. Even if I'm only Emperor for a short while... Oh, you've usurped a title. Even if uh, I'm only Emperor for a short while, it is a massive amount of... Whoa! There is a rebellion going on. And it's a big one. Hmm. That's not good. Guys, um, can I get some levies raised here so that I can defeat this rebellion before it gets too big? I really don't want rebellions to uh, be a problem. So, how many soldiers do you have? 3,000. That is a fair amount of soldiers, but we need more. We definitely need more. How many more can I raise? Okay, 6,000. That's, um, that's adequate. That's a lot of soldiers. And I really don't need to help you with that war. I think you've got that pretty much under control. See, this is the good part about empires. Look, I have loads of soldiers that I can just use. The downside is that I will not have entire control of my levies, but considering that crown authority is low, that means pretty Pretty much I get all of my levies, which will help me. 8,000 men. Well, this is a big army that I've just managed to summon to do this. Just waiting for them all to muster together. 16,000 men. I think that is sufficient to crush this rebellion of 7,000. Ah, oh, the boat has arrived. Good. Just, uh, just sit there, will you? This is, after all, my home territory. Hmm. Oh, and imprisonment. You can be imprisoned. You are planning on killing someone. Or I could just tell... I cannot just tell you to stop. Hmm. Who is it you're trying to kill? I've no idea. It's probably not important. The, wait. The last time I said that, I was losing sons. Who is it you are trying to kill? Who is it you are trying to kill? Look, I just want you to stop, okay? Look, just stop. I send, I'm not sending you money to stop, actually. We'll see if your opinion of me improves at all, and when it does, I will get you to stop. By the way, I should probably just offer vassalization to lots of these people. I can't offer vassalization to you. Or you. Or... You, I can't offer vassalization to any of these people. Why not? Is it because I'm not technically their de jure leader? I cannot offer vassalization because you must be at peace. Maybe it's only dukes I can offer vassalization to. I could be like, hey, would you like to come back to the empire that you just left? And they're like, yes, please. You're actually a really nice emperor. And I'm like, excellent, welcome back. Okay, you won't come back. Okay, never mind. It was worth a shot. Uh, will you come back? I can't even offer you. That's because you should be, you must be at peace and you're currently not. Okay, what about you? You are not at peace. Is there anybody who would like to rejoin? Do you want to read? Yes! Welcome back! Welcome back to the Byzantine Empire. It's like you never left. Do you want to rejoin power? If I send you money, do you want to rejoin? Yes! Aha! You swear fealty to me! Well, that's, uh, it's good. Do you want to rejoin? No. What's your opinion of me? Plus 40. Do you want to rejoin now? 
Ah, money is reclaiming the empire I lost. With the minor downside of the fact that they aren't really going to support me anyway. They, they might support me. Okay, I don't see it. I, I don't see that they'll support me. I mean, they're not even voting for my heir, but I'm getting the Empire back together. Offer to join war. What war are you fighting? Let's have a look. You're attacking there. Hmm. Do you want to join the Empire again? No, that's not even an option. Because it's not de jure, is it? No, I can't get any of these people back because they're not de jure. And you are apparently the leader of a revolt. A very small revolt. I got some of them back. Are you de jure? No, you are not. You are, though. But I can't ask you. I can ask you. You'll just join back. Excellent. Welcome back. Will you just join back? No. You would join back if I sent you some money, though. Wouldn't you? Aha! You will. You accept to swear fealty to me. And I think the other person will too. Yep. You accept to swear fealty to me. Good. Good. I can't ask you. And I can't ask you. Or any of you. And you are just not interested. But if I were to offer you some money, you would be interested. Excellent. You're back! I've mostly reunited the Byzantine Empire. Mostly. What about you? You're still at war. That's fine. I mean, most of it's back. I mean, I, I have enough money to consider doing that. Do you wish to... You are technically not de jure, are you? No, so I can't really ask you to come back. But I've reunited most of it. <laughs> That's not terrible. I mean, I don't need to increase crown of, like centralization at the moment because I'm at the right... just at the right level. So it's all good. You had a son? No, you haven't yet. You will do. I'm, I'm confident you will. So who can be arrested again? Do you want to end your plot now? No, you don't. And I'm not sending you money to end your plot. You could just keep plotting. I will be losing the Byzantine Empire to that man, who is inevitably going to die at some point, hopefully. You are pretty old. Lots of people like you, though. I imagine people are waiting for me to die rather than you. Also, how is that war of yours against Poland? Oh, yes. Not very well is the answer. Going pretty badly for you. Also, I'm in another war. Which war is this? Oh, yeah, it's that war. I totally forgot I was fighting that war. Let's go finish that off, shall we? Oops. Completely forgot. I just had an army of 16,000 people just sat there. Kapow, it is over. Sorry guys, totally forgot about that one. Let's just uh, dismiss the levies and pretend I didn't forget. So, when we come back folks, I've actually managed to mostly, mostly reunite the Byzantine Empire. Not that it's going to make much difference, because in the end of the day, I'm going to lose it all. But hey, I've undone at least some of the damage. Not all of it, but but I've re undone some of it. So, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.